Hello and welcome to the Last Worlds 2022 semifinals final four preview video where we cover the uh, final four supports. Down in the description, you will see three links Twitter, Discord, YouTube memberships. Twitter, follow me there, post all my links there. Discord, join us. We BS about League and various other esports topics there. Lastly, YouTube memberships, $3 a month. You will keep this channel alive. Um, fact of the matter is, can't do, you know, you, you can't do this forever without, um, you know, making it sustainable. $10 a month is um, the second tier where you get extra content, including tonight's video where I will give my um, pr uh, prediction for who will win the semifinals uh, match tomorrow. So if that interests you, that's the sort of stuff for the $10 tier, our predictions and NFL American football content. Um, so this... Uh, the last four videos, obviously, um, when we actually have uh, players that, I mean, let's be frank, non-supports, um, a lot more stats matter, right? Where you are in gold matters at 15 minutes. Where you are in CS matters, but that doesn't matter for a support. So I took those out. Um, I also added first blood percentage because, I mean, I guess it can be kind of relevant. Um, XP at 15 minutes can be kind of relevant. Um now, I kept damage in there, KDA. KDA, I think, is a, a mixed bag and a little misleading with supports because supports, I mean, sometimes you're the one that falls on the sword. You're the one that initiates. You're the one that, that gets in there and you die. And the rest of your, your team win the fight because you, you know, tanked a lot of damage. You were the CC, things like that. So, Karia having a 12.7. It does go along with Guma's 18.5, so that makes sense. There's not a big difference there, but we have to take that into account. The Karia really isn't diving in there and, um, you know, risking his own, you know, life in, in league for the team fight. Missing 5.2, Lahens 5, Barrel 3.6. I am curious what Barrels is without that one Heimer game where he absolutely inted his face off i think game two if we recall kp i think this does matter um i think a support should be the in like i just said i think a support should be the initiator you have two different kinds of supports you have one that's going to roam make things happen which i prefer or a support that's going to hold the hand of the ad carry make sure they don't die because they can't be left alone by themselves because they're not capable of you know maybe it's a matchup maybe it's just their mannerism whatever they need the support to hold their hand so lahens leads the way 78.7 so more than three out of every four kills lahens has his fingerprints on it some way shape or form missing is in the same boat at 76.9 carrier just below that at 73.8 so all three of them pretty standard above 70 percent the higher the better in my opinion um obviously with a skirmish heavy team like jdg it is nice to see that missing is in 77 percent pretty much of the kills that means he is in there he is going around the rift he is making things happen because you see in other places oh it's around 60 percent oh it's it's much lower than the other other uh competitors in the same role and it's like because this is the guy doing the work um kanavi as well but kanavi is also worried about farming where missing may take on the roaming role um barrel 65.5 that's extremely low this is the other side of the coin right um so 65.5 playing a lot of Heimer a lot of lane focus let's I mean lane bullies which we'll get into they play a lot of kill lanes a lot of tough smash mouth lanes they are not going to get around the rift they're going to get ahead in their matchup and um, that's indicative of that we look at damage percentage of course barrel leads the way at 14.7 percent when you have four Heimer dinger games that's going to happen not only that he has a couple other games where he is you know expected to put up some damage not a ton but more than your average support because you have you know we know there's different kinds of supports you, you've got a guy that's willing to play you know in this meta right now we have thrash we have Rao, we have alistar as as, as fringe non-enchanter picks that some people are willing to try that's not going to deal damage and is going to initiate hurt their kda instead um where barrels kind of trying to play backline almost carry a 10.9 <clears throat> higher end of standard i would say anything between 8 and 11 um we look at lahens 8.1 
definitely more of an enchanter. He's going to keep his team alive. He's going to heal, just heal, 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 and um, provide some CC, provide some, uh, you know, boosts, knockups, all that jazz. Uh, missing is in the middle, 9.2. Missing in the hens, um, similar uh, supports right now. So missing, dealing slightly more damage. I mean, 1% is pretty irrelevant, but it is a thing. First blood percentage. So missing is 30%. Three out of 10 games he had, he was involved in first blood, which is an interesting thing, right? Is that bot lane? Is that, is that, um, a fight around the first Drake, the first Rift Herald? Is it getting around the Rift? I mean, with the KP as high as it is, I would say that he is probably getting around for some of that. Caria is the lowest at 11.1, one out of, uh, 11 games or, well, no, actually one out of nine games. Sorry. So, um, one out of nine. Yeah, 11.1 1 is one out of nine. Um, so that's a thing. Um, sorry about that if you heard that. Um, Lahens, 45.5. Four out of, um, well, actually, it's much higher. Lahens played a best of five. No, sorry, that's um, five out of 11, I believe. Lahens, five out of 11, first bloods and barrel. I'm not even going to try and do that math. Um, what is it? Probably two out of 11. Best of five plus six plus maybe uh, plus maybe tiebreaker. Either way. So he's obviously more like Caria, right? Like we just said, Barrel, more focused on his lane. Caria, middle of the road, but missing in the hands a lot higher. They are getting involved in first blood, whether it's in bot lane or elsewhere on the rift. Um, XP, everybody's ahead. Um, in gold, Lahens is the only one behind, but really it's like minor and we know gold, although is at more of a premium for supports because obviously they don't get any. Um, at the same time, I mean, it would be kind of weird to look at and be like, well, look at Barrel, he's up 700 gold. It's like, well, yeah, he's got to farm a bit. Like he is going to need to give the Heimer some farm. I mean, he's maybe doing spell thieves on, on Lux or whatever as well. And he's going to get gold that way. So, um. You know, that is that is a thing. So, XP, everybody's ahead. Lahens, though, a little more middle of the road. Like I said, behind in gold slightly and only up 15 XP versus Caria, Missing, and Barrel, which are all above 244 and higher. Now, what's really more interesting is the champion pools with these guys. Um, a lot of champions, more than the other roles. We have it all the way over here. That's this, the camera's back farther than it's ever been to try and get everything on this board on your on your screen. I apologize for that for one second. I looked down at my screen to see if, make sure it was all on the board, right? I lined it up, but I want to make sure. And I had like something for Razor on my screen and, and something for, you know, antivirus or whatever. And I'm like, I can't even see my screen. Hopefully this isn't affecting my video. So, um, yeah. So champion pools, um, a lot of different things, right? A lot of different champions, Caria and Barrel, both playing one champion more than once. Um, in the case of Missing and Lahens, both played Nami the most, Lucian, Nami, Bot. Uh, that's probably going to be banned, I imagine. Um, whether, depending on people, uh, if people think they can play against it. Um, it's been a mixed bag thus far. Um, you know, I think the, the, um, win rate isn't as high as people think it is. Uh, Caria, the only champions played twice is Yumi. So that is most played, Sivir Yumi, both him and Guma. Um, otherwise it's been a mix and match. And then Barrel's Heimer, because he's played it four times, right? So, it's just, you know, all over the place. DRX are going to demand an answer from Gen G. Either Gen G bans the Heimer because for two weeks they couldn't figure out what might work against it and put it into practice and try it and see if it works or never found something to begin with and said, well, maybe they did try and, oh, well, we can't find it, so we're just going to have to ban it. I mean, it's a waste of a ban, in my opinion, if you can fig you've had enough time to try and figure it out, but... Um, I digress. So, uh, some interesting things to look at here. Barrel not played the Nami. So, Lucian Nami has not been a thing for DRX. More focused on Ashheimer. 
the teams can leave Lucian up and say, you're not going to pick it because um, you're more concerned with your weird bot lane. Um, Lulu hasn't been played by Caria. That's not a surprise. I believe Caria's Enchanter pool is pretty weak. It's worse than Lahenza missing at this event. I still think Caria is the best overall support. But when it comes to simply Enchanters, he's probably third in this group. Um, Yumi, Barrel hasn't played it. Hasn't been left up against them. Otherwise, I imagine they would play it. Um, Renata hasn't been played by Barrel as well. Um, Renata, uh, I think a very good pick. We see a lot of, you know, you see Callista Renata. And just Renata in general is a strong pick. I mean, I'm surprised we don't see more of it. Um, and those are the champions that have been played three times each. Some one-offs that only one, one player has tried. Um, Missing has played Nautilus. In, um, yeah, he's only played Nautilus by himself. I mean, everything else, everyone else has tried. Uh, I mean, uh, missing hasn't hasn't played, um, which is weird because I think you know carry as Nautilus is nasty. Obviously, it's not in this meta; um, it doesn't really fit. But I think that as a one-off, he could probably do something with it, um, catch somebody off guard. I think that that is reasonable. Um, as far as carry is concerned, he played Alistar. I'm not a big Alistar fan at all, so I hope I don't see that again. He's played. Um, Tom Kench, Tom Kench, kind of sus as well, I, but his Tom Kench was nasty, a very good Tom Kench, he was really clutch in groups with the Tom Kench, um, saving the day more than once, so will we see it again, and they pull out the virus, possibly, um, I know, and, you know, we talked about this morning, a lot of people, you know, think virus stinks, and, um, I mean, it has stunk at this event, but I do think Guma at least believed for a moment that it was the counter to Caitlyn. So will it come back and they leave Caitlyn up against JDG? Who knows? Um, I thought the DK was okay. Um, as far as Lahans is concerned, he played Singed and Lux. Um, well, actually, his only unique pick is Singed. Because uh, Barrels also played Lux. Singed, he played Singed Senna to open up this um worlds and i don't think we'll ever forget that game because of how poorly it went for ruler probably rulers worst game he's ever played internationally and it's a lot to do with what lehens i mean lehens brainwashed the team into picking singed senna bot lane against rng i mean that's like inting times a million barrel um amumu brahm ash and karma amumu Kind of, I mean, a better Leona recently, right? Um, just goes in and kind of does its thing. It has a great um, early, early laning phase with the double Q. Um, however, I mean, no one's really picking it because you kind of just die on it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Amumu, to be honest. Um, Braum, uh, I don't expect to see the Braum again. Um, not really, not really fit in this, fit in this uh, meta. Ash. I wouldn't be shocked to see the Ash. The Ash was not great. Death's Ash is, like, actually his win rate, I think, is his second best all time in his career behind um, Jinx. So that's a thing, right? Um, could they move the Ash back and forth? Could they get freaky with it? This, if there's a team that's going to get freaky with it, it's going to be DRX because they kind of need to have that, um, not necessarily a mental edge, but a draft edge and where they're going to be like, hey, we're going to throw this at them. They're not really going to see it coming, and we're going to see what happens. Um, I think that that, per, that Heimer Ash thing has really helped them out, and it wasn't even of their doing. They said Top Esports banning it against them made them very confused because they were like, we're not playing Heimer. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we should play it because it's drawing bans, and we're not even... We're not even, we didn't even play it. Like, so they end up, so I guess Top's um, legacy at this event is Ashheimer being played by DRX. Um, Karma as well. We saw Ezreal Karma bot lane actually win, right? Game five, that was that was the lane that won. So will we see the Karma again? I mean, maybe if it is an enchanter. Is it the best enchanter? No, but maybe. Um, so... 
a lot of different champions here to look at. Um, you know, some people like to say, uh, well, you know, in the past, X players done this or Y players done that. And it's like, okay, well, what are they doing lately? Like, every meta is different. So, not every champion is the same in every single meta. And um, the comfort level of said player on said champion in said meta is not always the same. So if they don't get, if they're not vibing with that champion in this meta, they're not going to pick it. And so far, that's the case if it's, they haven't picked yet. If they have given it a try, they must have thought confidently enough into bring it out on stage. I mean, it's kind of the thing. So um, that's it for the support video. Later on today, you're going to get my LOL Esports Roundup, where we go over the news from the last week, as well as a preview of tomorrow's semifinals match. Um, thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube member so this channel does not die. I really enjoy doing daily League content. And without it being you know, self-sufficient, that is not a reality. So, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you come back for more content.